everybody, this is Jen from Scrappy and Posh and I am here with my artistic studio creation design team project and this is my Prima Marketing Moonchild mini album. It's kind of big. Uh, it's an 8x10 mini album and it has a 3 inch spine. So uh, while I'm filming this, I still haven't actually uh, released all of the videos yet because it's I've had um, so far 10 well I think I'll have 13 videos in this share by the time it's done so anyways I'll link the videos to the tutorial below and I will try and add to the end of each one the link to the next one which I haven't done yet so um, this is a big mini album. I use the Moonchild A4 and 8x8 collections. I use some of the mulberry flowers from uh, Artistic Studio Creations and they're a really good deal. I have some bling from my stash but ASC has all sorts of bling. And then some photo corners or book corners or whatever they are in silver. Um, I use I made my dangle, the We Are Memory Keepers uh, eyelet there to hold it on. And my dangle is uh, the seam binding from Bluebird Lanes on Etsy. Uh, and I got several more so to coordinate with the collections. And then some pre-strung beads that I had, uh, one big cameo, and uh, that's my dangle and then Denise who follows the ASC page uh, also is making this album she's following my tutorial and she's been following it from the beginning so um, she's posting it on the ASC Facebook page I was really excited to see that uh, I always love that and I decided that I would make her her own dangle it's a little different because I didn't have a cameo, so I made this out of a charm and some glossy accents, which the glossy accents are also available at ASC, um, and the same ribbon and everything. So I'll be sending this to Denise as like a thank you for following my tutorial and posting online. And let's get started flipping through because it's going to take a little while. Um, like I said, it's an 8 by 10 and there's a large space on the front if you wanted to add a photo or a title. And the front cover and back cover are plain. I made a shaker pocket, so I'm really excited about. This is on the, um, in the tutorial, I put shaker pocket. I think it's nine or 10. So I'm excited about that. And it's a double shaker pocket on both sides. So you, you can pull this photo mat out and put a photo on there and then you can see it through the shaker pocket which I, I think it's really cool. I was very happy that it came out as well as it did because it was a complete experiment. Um, so each one of these 12 pages has this huge tag on it. I'll pull one more out because that's the shaker pocket. It's a little different. I have a magnetic closure here that holds down this horizontal waterfall and it's every other one is a solid and every other one is a pattern and then again a nice blank spot there and a giant tag for that pocket also. I have two of similar pages of this because I forgot to film one or I filmed one and it 
something happened, I don't know. So every back page is a large mat, so lots of rooms for pictures and even uh, scrapbook layouts if you wanted to do one. You can even add flaps if you like to see the paper. Um, this is a double pocket with a magnet closure also. Each one has two photo mats in it, and of course you could add more if you'd like. There's two photo mats here. I used a white base, um, a turquoise, and this orchid color for uh, different tags. Um, each one of these, you can see, is plain. <clears throat> Room for photos. And then there are two side pockets also. So this opens here and here. And I put two large mats. And you don't have to put these mats in there. You can do other mats. You can set those mats right there and they'll stay just fine. You can stack photos here. Uh, and I have, this came out really well. It almost looks embossed. I used a, a one of those little teardrop inks from forever ago. It's a pigment, pigment ink in silver and a Stamparia uh, Cosmos stamp. I believe the Cosmos stamps are still in stock at ASC Supply at the time of this filming. So run over and get them. They stamped better than any stamp I think I've ever stamped. They were harder, like it was a higher durometer. And I, I am not a stamper. And honestly, I wasn't even trying that hard because I was like, oh, you know, if it messes up, whatever. But it was so easy. And then I have two Lavinia stamps here. They're, they're the tiny star stamps. And I also point those out in my haul video uh, from this month. And uh, in the video which I use them. Again, a large tag. These tags can also be used as like scrapbook layouts. And they measure 7 by 9 and an 8. So plenty of room. And they really need some structure they really need to be matted um, or something added to them because they are a 60 pound cardstock and that's it but uh, I did not have enough paper I should show you how much paper I have left so if if you get the a4 and the 8x8 and you make this album the way that I made it this is what you have left I want to say the biggest piece of paper here. Oh wait, I think I have one eight by eight. Is this an eight by eight? I have one eight by eight and half of eight by eight. That's all I got left out of that. So be prepared to use a ton of paper. This is one of those albums that if you have a collection, a whole collection, make this album. Um, again, I stamped the. Um, the little stars and on the orchid or the purple colored uh, cardstock I used uh, London Fog ink by Memento. I used that one. Just trying to use what I have. Um, but I, I haven't mentioned it yet. This is a punch from Martha Stewart. And I don't remember what it is. Uh, this is a swing opens um, so I guess this is actually on the back of this page which I didn't think that I did any backs of pages but I did <laughs> and then this to me was looking kind of plain and it folds out like I don't know five times or something so I thought on the front of this I would mat it if I had thought about it before I would have cut out the pattern paper in the middle to have a little bit more pattern paper but I didn't think about it till the end. Again, the Stamparia Cosmos stamp, stamped beautifully. And then another layered photo mat there. And this folds out one. Two times this way. Okay, and then it folds out one and two times this way. So there are, I think, five panels here. One, two, three, four, five panels there. And then the back, six, seven, eight. 
nine panels in that one page. And again, you have the photo mat or the big giant mat. So it's really fun to pick out your solid colors too. Denise uh, posted pictures of her work in process and she used an aqua and a pink, I think, and they're really, really nice. So to the, you know, picking out colors that go with it, super fun. And hers is more like pastel. Uh, and, and I like, I like it a lot. So uh, I use a part of the, one of the collage papers here. It says Gypsy Love Song. I have some bling from my stash, more bling. And these are Okay, these, I thought they were short pockets, but now it looks like they're falling all the way in. So let me look at this. Where is my page? Let me borrow this for a second. Okay, so that goes all the way down. Now, I promise you, in the video that I just edited, <laughs> I tried to put these tags in here and they wouldn't, they wouldn't, uh, they stopped. Oh my, that's so strange. Okay, so I'm going to change this up a minute. I'm going to have to make some new photo mats for here because these have got to go in this pocket. That's what their original intent was anyways. All right, so very strange, you guys, but I'm happy with that. Is this one taller? Okay, well, it looks like those are the only ones that are going to go in that pocket for now, and I'll have to find some more to put these. Um, so uh, this is a belly band with a closure. Uh, Kathy Orta inspired this. She did something similar. You take this belly band or this tag out of this belly band and this opens down and then your giant mat comes out of there and you have room here you have as many mats as you want to stick in there and then you have this long tag that you can put something on too or you can journal on it and that's what holds your mat in here so that's kind of neat. I have a plain page here, and then we have a half page here. Uh, and I take that back. This is a half page, so there's only 11 of these giant tags because I made this. Um, I cut the gusset and made two pages out of it. I have a little tiny library pocket here and a tiny booklet here. I didn't mat it. I just left it the way it was and another the same in that little pocket and then these two tags with the Stamperia Cosmos stamps on them again there's the giant moon and the wolf howling at the giant moon the back's plain to add stuff to or you could cover up the stamps that's fine um, back again stamped um, with the pigment ink silver and then this is the page that's similar to the other page, the horizontal waterfall. I did the, this one first and I actually, I have to keep them, I actually did the wrong measurements and I, I ended up liking this one better. <laughs> so what I did was the front, I used normal, um, what do I want to say, the pattern paper and then this pattern paper is just the strip on these if you can see I have solid and then just the strip which is what you can see so I didn't waste the pattern paper on what you couldn't see and the same goes for the back side so it looks like everything is the same pattern but actually we have solids underneath there so I thought that came out very well and then that's a magnetic closure, the same as the other. One large mat. And next page. 
nice plain paper. I love this paper. It's probably my favorite. I said that about a couple different ones. Uh, another magnetic closure here. We can open this up and this is a perfect place to put my extra tags. There is a very large space on the upper flap and then I have two little peekaboo spots here. You can do some journaling in here and then put a picture here and then the bottom is a pocket that was just waiting for photo mats. What do you think about that? And everything's nice and neat in there because of the flap. Um, large tag, mat, photo mat, large tag, whatever you want to call it. Okay, large plain spot on the back and this back has a flap. So I added a flap there. And then this one is the second one that I forgot to film or got messed up. I have a bead that's coming loose. I've got to tell myself, I, I always want to say that the ed sorry, the dog stored. I always want to say that the adhesive on the um, on these little blings will stick, but they don't. <laughs> so probably should go back through and glue all these down, but maybe, maybe one of these days. Okay, and this so this is the same. You open it, fold it down, and up. And I just noticed that I matted this one and I didn't mat the other one, so we're going to mat that once I get off camera here. And pull the giant mat out. Almost done, you guys. Plain paper. Oh, I just realized I used two plain papers of the same in the row. Oh, well. This has a very large pullout. So you have plenty of space here. You have plenty of space here and here. And a bling. And another pullout. this side. Um, this uh, is another flap on the back, plain cardstock, pattern paper, and then this last page is a double swing pocket. It's not the actual page, it's, it's an addition to this page. Um, we'll pull these mats out. I use a little bit of washi there. This one. Okay. And then the rest of the page is also a swing, so it opens up this way. We have the 8x8 version of that one I just showed you. The giant tag mat, whatever, pulls out. And then a plain back and a plain last page. So Here's the back. Again, I have the sterling silver photo corners, and the spine is plain with that paper I really like on it. So, it's a big one, isn't it? So, um, yeah, this is my 8 by 10 mini album <laughs> with a dangle and roses that I just smashed on the front. <laughs> And yeah, if you want to see how to make this, I did a tutorial on everything. I did the time lapse on matting the pages because, uh, yeah, it was already 13 videos long that were like an hour piece, if not more. <laughs> so I figured matting the pages was simple enough, but I still wanted you guys to see it, so I did a time lapse on it. You just didn't have to listen to me talk. So if you have any questions or comments or anything, I'd appreciate it if you would like my video and my email is below or you can just leave a comment on the video and I will answer you as soon as possible 
head on over to Artistic Studio Creations, that's ASC Supplies on Etsy. The link is in the description below. Get your Prima paper, if you can't find this one, any paper will do. And thank you Denise for following and posting your kind comments and your progress. I will be sending you your very own dangle uh, for your book. Hopefully you can use it on your book. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, I would appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Everybody stay healthy. Bye-bye.